Hello, I'm Dr. Timor, and this is Trinity Faith. And we are here for today's episode of Daily Bible Bites on Mount Olive Multicultural Community Church. Today is April 6th, and we are in chapter four of the book of Exodus. But Moses said, they'll say, Jehovah never appeared to you. What do you have in your hand? The Lord asked him, and he replied, a shepherd's rod. Throw it on the ground, the Lord told him, and it became a serpent, and Moses ran from it. Then the Lord told him, grab it by the tail. He did, and it became a rod again. Do that, and they will believe that Jehovah appeared to you. Now reach your hand inside your robe, and when he did and took it out again, it was white with leprosy. Now put it in again. And when he did, he took it out, and it was normal. And if they don't accept these two signs, take water from the Nile River and pour it upon the dry land, and it will turn to blood. But Moses pleaded, O oh Lord, I'm just not a good speaker, for I have a speech impediment. Who makes mouths? God asked him. Isn't it I, the Lord? I will tell you what to say. But Moses said, please send someone else. Then the Lord became angry. Your brother Aaron is coming. He will be your spokesman. Moses returned home and talked it over with Jethro. Moses said, I will go back to Egypt and visit my relatives. Go with my blessing, Jethro replied. So Moses took his wife and sons and returned to Egypt. God told him, go to Pharaoh and do the miracles I have shown you, but I will make him stubborn so that he will not let the people go. Then tell him, God says, Israel is my oldest son and I have commanded you to let him go, but you have refused. Now I will slay your eldest son. As Moses stopped for the night, God appeared to Moses and threatened to kill him. Then Zipporah cut off the foreskin of her young son, remarking, what a blood-smeared husband you've turned out to be. Then God said to Aaron, go meet Moses. And Moses told Aaron what God had said. So Moses and Aaron summoned the elders of Israel. Aaron told them what God had said to Moses. Then the elders believed that God had sent them and bowed their heads and worshiped. So what the Lord has put in my spirit today is something that really does not have a whole lot to do with this verse, but because he talks about the rod, the shepherd's rod, it does. This is what the Lord has impressed upon me today. When we go back to verse two and it says, what do you have in your hand? The Lord asked him and he replied, a shepherd's rod. There is a huge misnomer um, that people have been talking about for probably centuries at this point and they say spare the rod spoil the child and this is why I did want Trinity to be here with um, us for this particular segment they say spare the rod spoil the child that is nowhere in this bible period not from Genesis to Revelation will you ever find spare the rod spoil the child it says spare not the rod is what it says and we see here that Moses is talking about the shepherd's rod. Now, if we go to chapter 23 of the book of Psalms, it says, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Now, when a shepherd has a rod and a staff, the rod looks like a cane with a hook around it. If a sheep begins to go astray, the shepherd will gently put the rod on the, around the sheep's neck and just bring it back gently. He doesn't yank it. He doesn't beat him to the ground. He brings it back gently. So the shepherd's rod is a walking stick. It looks like a walking stick and has a knob at the top of it. If the sheep is a little bit more rambunctious or a little bit more rebellious and is not taking the gentle coaxing with the rod, then the shepherd then gently still taps the um, sheep over the head with the rod. He doesn't beat the sheep down. He doesn't try to swipe, side swipe the sheep and knock them off his feet. He doesn't do any of that. He gently taps them on his head <laughs> to come back. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. That is a true contradiction to what people have been saying all these years, spare the rod, spoil the child. That doesn't mean beat a child down, not emotionally, not physically, not spiritually. Spare not the rod, amen? Give them a gentle coaxing. Make sure that they are being corrected with love the same way Christ corrects us with love, amen? That's something that we can all take uh, a bite of, amen, today. It's something that we all have to be reminded of even as parents. None of us are perfect parents. We can yell, we can lose our temper, we can lose patience. But if we always go back 
to that rod. When we talk about the rod and the staff, amen? Thy rod and thy staff do comfort, amen? So we have to take a vow to our children to try to make sure that we comfort and don't beat them down spiritually, emotionally, definitely not physically. Thank you for joining us for this segment of Daily Bible Bites. Please join us back tomorrow where we will continue with chapter five of the book of Exodus. We love you in Jesus' name and we'll see you back again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.